Greetings, beloved, my beloved sons and daughters. Welcome to the tree of 12 days of hope. God told me to give you hope to help you cope during this pandemic, and especially this time that the BVI is going through just storms. I want to say I love you. I bless you from Lady Tara, myself, and our baby Princess Daniela. We greet all the pastors, elders, ministers, deacons in their respective places, all of the intercessors and all the singers, the psalmists, those persons that work in the song group, the greeters, everyone who's serving hospitality, hospitality in anywhere in the house of God. We want to say we love you. We bless you. Those that we haven't seen in a while, we want to say we love you and know that we miss you and we are praying for you and we care for you. We want to thank God that over the last few weeks um, we were able to restock our pantries and we've been picking up and dropping off you know because of the pandemic just at some of your doors we've just knocked and just left the stuff there some people came home and I call them they want they just left it there we want to say again we haven't finished there's still some more stuff that, that we will be doing um, again we are here for you know just to that we are praying for you Lady Tara myself in addition to that, the intercessors are praying for you, and we know that you are praying for us right back, and we love you. Family, I came with a word from the Lord just to encourage you and to bless you. This is just a quick drive-by. The word of the Lord that he gave me to tell you today, he said, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Family, the antidote for stress and worry and heartaches and everything that we're going, going through is to trust in God. I came again with an antidote. I came with a solution to your problem, and it is trust in God. Isaiah 26 and 3 said, God keeps in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. So if your mind is confused, if you are stressed, full of anxiety, if you're feeling depressed, it says that your mind is not stayed on God. He keeps in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. Today we decree and declare that you have the mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. We declare today that you have the mind of Christ to hold the thoughts, feelings, and purposes of his heart. And that is how you'll walk in the peace of God that pass it all, understand it, that keep it watch over your heart and mind, true and in Christ Jesus. After you've prayed and fasted and decreed and declared and worship a to Philippians 4, 6 through 8, Set your mind on the things that concern Jesus. Family, God said he wants his seat back. He wants his throne. He needs back his throne in our hearts, in our land. He said we've given his, his throne over to Corona and the vaccine. And unbelief. I came to release some faith today and to encourage you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Again, the word of God again. Let not your heart be troubled. He said, believe, you believe in God, believe also in me. Again, this antidote, this answer, this recipe, this solution to the problems in your life. Trust God, trust God, trust God, trust God, trust God. I just came today to drive by. To tell somebody, we just want you to trust God. Now, the backdrop of this scripture, again, we normally just read the scripture, but the backdrop is Jesus in chapter 12. Guess what? Jesus with Lazarus, Mary, and there's when the lady um, poured her ointment that was a year's salary on his feet and anoint and washed his feet with her hair. In chapter 13, guess what? He's at the Passover and he's talking to his disciples. He's telling them about what's to come. He's getting ready to go off at the scene and he's speaking into their lives. Amen. These are the last words. He is in the upper room with them and he's just speaking into their lives and he's letting them know, guess what? Yes, perilous times shall come. But guess what? Let not your heart be troubled. Family, we have the pandemic all around us. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. He said in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there he may be also. And where do I go? You know. And the way, you know. Again, we saw a Jewish Jesus. When he spoke to these disciples, they understand what he was saying. That his father 
had prepared a house and he was given, going to give him space and he was going to prepare for them to come. I want to tell you, God has a prepared blessing with somebody's name on it. I got to go and just a quick drive by to say, I love you, appreciate you, thank God for you. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. God keeps in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. So if your mind is filled with stress and trouble, your not, mind is not on him. I want to encourage you, let your mind be stayed on him. If you're filled with stress and trouble, then your mind is not on him. I want to encourage you, let your mind be stayed on him in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. We love you. We bless you. We thank God for you. The Lord bless thee. The Lord keep thee. The Lord cause his face to shine upon thee. Be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his thunders upon thee. Give thee peace. Shalom in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. They would never go away So confused with no one to help me Hallelujah. Oh, I found the 